tuning in, welcome back. And for those of you who just happened to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, I will once again be talking about the brand Lug, more specifically one of their newer bags called the Navigator. This bag debuted in their holiday box and now it is available for individual purchase. I got mine in butterfly gray off the QVC website. I'm very, very pleased. I just received it in the mail yesterday um, and I had to pack it up right away because I was anxiously awaiting it. Um, I loved how it looked in some of the other videos that people had been posting and I was anxious to see what I could fit in mine. And let me tell you, I was blown away. I actually have everything in this bag that was in my Soprano tote, except for two pouches. Anyway, it's phenomenal. It really, really embodies the whole small but mighty thing. But that's really one of the best things about Lug. They do that. They give you such beautiful organization in small packages. But this bag is stunning. So let's start with the top handle. I'm, I'm a full top handle convert, if you will. Um, it is not padded, so it's not squishy, but it is reinforced and comfortable. Stitched very nicely to the top of the bag, so I don't have any concerns with ripping or anything of that nature. It has a fully adjustable, fully removable crossbody strap. My only complaint is that it is a one inch strap as opposed to a one and a half inch strap. I have so much stuff in here, I made it heavy. A one inch strap, uh, I generally feel doesn't distribute the weight as evenly as the thicker strap does. So it might get a little pinchy and uncomfortable. Not a deal breaker by any means. So that leads me to there's these obviously beautiful gunmetal gray uh, D rings on the outside of the bag where I can hang my little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer off there. And then also can hang my butterfly gray heart pouch. I just keep some individually wrapped wipes in here. And can I just tell you, I found this shirt at Walmart of all places and the butterflies almost match 100%. It's crazy. Anyway, love it. So yes, yeah, heart pouch. Now, besides the top handle being an obvious outside feature, it also has an outside water bottle holder. Now, what I love about this is instead of a magnet, it has snaps, which I love. Uh, the magnets sometimes I find either lose their magnetism and they get a little weaker or they just kind of flop open. I hate that, but these snaps keep it nice and tight and flush against the bag. And then when you open it up, there's actually a little strip of Velcro. You can take that off like that and then expand your water bottle pocket so you can carry some good size bottles. I unfortunately don't have one on me right now, but I anticipate you absolutely could fit me a chuggy in here um, and protein shake, any kind of regular uh, water bottle. And then the Velcro just makes it go nice and flush against that portion of the flap and then you close it up and just snap it into place and you're good to go. So onto the front of the bag, you have your dedicated cell phone pocket, fully lined, gray fleece interior. In here, I have my sample phone, which is as big as my iPhone XR. Um, I will say that you do have to be careful how you pack the inside of the bag because that's where it shares real estate. And if you kind of bulk it out it won't close as nicely over the larger foam but i have no problems now if we go on to the back of the bag it has a slip pocket with i want to say it's kind of like a hybrid it's like a magnet snap um so it's not quite as big as some of the magnetic closures you'd find on the other lug bags uh, but it is definitely magnetized and it's just a nice slip pocket with no other in um internal organizational features in here i just keep a little thing of mints so right behind that pocket, which you can see this one does in fact have a nice, like a finger width gusset, is a zippered compartment, smooth zippers per lug standard. Um, there's that beautiful interior. And in here, I've gone back to carrying my food journal, just a Vera Bradley personal bullet grid journal um, size that fits in there beautifully. And then I also can fit in my two reusable grocery totes. No other organizational features in that pocket. When you go onto the front, you have very, you know, reminiscent puddle jumper-esque pockets. Um, there's the beautiful plate with the logo on there. I love the height 
and and width of these pockets they're nice and generous they have beautifully sized gussets i mean that's like a two finger gusset so they're very spacious um i also like that they don't have the pocket on pocket because although the pocket on pocket feature is nice because you can slip in a card or something. They're tiny pockets and I never really know what to put in there. So I actually like that this one doesn't have that feature. They do have smooth zippers, no problem. So in this first one, um, I actually have just a lip gloss, um, lotion, Lysol, uh, another chapstick type thing, and my leopard brown coin pouch. In this pocket, I have my very on-themed uh, AirPods case. I have correction tape. And I also have this little pouch, which is a lug pouch that I got ages ago. I don't even remember, to be perfectly honest, where I got this pouch from. But this fits all my little teeny tiny tchotchkes that I carry with me. And that is it for those two pockets. And there are no other internal organizational features. So now we will get into the, <clears throat> excuse me, the main portion of the bag. Uh, I do wish this part at least had double zippers. Uh, again, it's not a deal breaker, but it just seems like it'd be more convenient to have double zippers, but it just has a singular zipper, very smooth again. Um, and you can fit a ton, a ton of stuff in there. So let me get the stuff out of the main portion of the compartment and then I'll show you the organizational features. So I just stick my keys in there, just throw them in. Um, I have my personal A6 planner in there and I have my Butterfly Gray Splits XL. This is my favorite wallet of all time. Across all brands, um, this is literally the best wallet I've ever used and I now have three of them. Um, in different prints. So love this wallet, Splits XL. So that is it for what I keep in that main par compartment. Now, they do have a key bungee also in this main compartment. I have decided that I prefer a key bungee over everything else. The key clips are nice, but I actually prefer the bungee because you just stick your keys on, throw it in there. You don't have to worry, you just fish it to the side. Oh, there they are. Um, so yeah, I keep my husband's spare keys on those. Now, if we look <clears throat> at the front clear view is on the side with the double pockets it is a beautiful very very spacious clear view pocket this is across the entire length of the bag it's kind of silly because all i have in there are just my phone stuff but i can fit so much more in there i might i might reconfigure i might put different things in there i don't know but very very generous I mean, it goes down to the bottom. It's huge. So yeah, that's a very, very spacious clear view. Then you go to the back of the bag. You have a nice cargo pocket. I uh, just keep my comb and a little notepad in there. It is half fleece line, so you could also put your readers or sunglasses in there. I like that it's like kind of like, I'd say what, two, three? thirds of the way across the bag because then you have your two pen slots right next to it and behind that they gave you even one last organizational feature which is a privacy pocket which is very nice this one does not go across the entire length of the bag so it's a bit smaller but it's perfect for if when you just need to hide you know like your uh, feminine products if you wish or whatever you want to put in there that you don't need the world to see when you open your bag because it does open quite nicely like and spaciously i just have a little mask in there um but yeah that's it uh it does not have a wipeable surface bottom nor does it have feet um that's okay you know me i prefer one or the other or or sometimes i get a little greedy and want both um but since this is a crossbody i don't really foresee put it, putting this down on a multitude of surfaces so i don't really it's not a deal breaker i don't think it's necessary um but yeah that's it yeah, i can absolutely see this being an everyday carry for me um <clears throat> i will be taking it out on its maiden voyage today so i'm very excited about that but she's a beauty. Um, I do really, really like her. Um, I don't know what I would really do to improve it. Um, I think lug fit a lot in a very, very small package, and I appreciate that. Um, small for me, you know. Again, I'm a I'm a soprano girl. I love carrying that big soprano tote or my mini puddle jumper or the vegan leather cable car. So I like the bigger bags. But this definitely gives those bigger bags a run for their money. 
especially because of all the organizational features. So I'm very pleased with my most recent purchase and uh, that's it. So thank you all very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.